tomorrow sometime. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, look, what's happened to you? Did they forget about you? Come on, this way. <laughs> there, they went out this way. Bye-bye. Oh, sweet. <coughs> now, to tidy the bedrooms. <laughs> oh, what an untidy lot of little children they are. Look at all these cobwebs and this dust. Oh, oh what sweet little beds. I'm very tired after all my housework. I don't think the children would mind if I lay down and had a rest for a while. <sighs> Out, men. There's dirty work afoot here. The whole place has been ransacked. Hmm. Someone's stolen all cobwebs. <laughs> By Jove, missus. They've used me tickling stick as a duster. <laughs> there is something cooking here. In more ways than one. Man knows she tells me that the stove has been lit. And, if I am not mistaken, some stew has been prepared. Don't touch it, fool! It may be poison! <gasps> Stand back, man. Whatever it is, it's upstairs. This calls for action. We need a plan. One of us has got to go upstairs and investigate. Any volunteers? Who oh, no. Are they to be the trouble? <laughs> Get going, fool! We're right here as backup. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> But you keep close by. <laughs> oh! It's only a girl. She may be in need of help. <laughs> By Joe, she's pretty. <laughs> How touchy hilarious. <laughs> huh, women are trouble. Hi, you're not children at all. You're little men. We know who we are, Annabelle. Ask her who she is. Oh, I'm very sorry if I frightened you. That's right, my dear. Take no notice of Mr. G. His bark is worse than his bite. Huh? I'm Hannibal, ma'am. Known to the boys as Colonel. <laughs> leader of the D-Team. Our motto is, if ever you're in trouble or feeling rather blue, <laughs> just call on the D-Team. We'll take care of you. <laughs> How kind. But I'm sure you couldn't help with my stepmother. She wants to kill me. Stepmothers are our speciality, ma'am. <laughs> now, come along and meet the team. You've met Mr. G already. His name's Growler. This here is cheerful. <laughs> How disconnocerating! <laughs> now meet Sniffles. He's got a nose for trouble. Enchanté, madame. <laughs> this is Snorer. You can see why. When he's frightened, he goes to sleep on his feet and snores. And hiding behind him is Shy. Finally, <laughs> There's our secret weapon, Dozy. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I knew a girl like you once. <laughs> she was called Betty. <laughs> Why is he your secret weapon? He's such a fool that he does everything wrong. And that gives our plans the element of surprise. Oh, I see, I think. Anyway, let me introduce myself. My name is Snow White. The princess, yes. we know. News travels fast in these parts. Well, ma'am, you'll need somewhere to hide out for a while, oh. I think. You must stay here. The queen would never find you here. Oh. Look, I'm warning you. Women are trouble. Oh. Can you keep the hands tidy? Yes. <laughs> Can you make naughty ass jam <laughs> uh, Yes, I think so. Can you iron clothes and wax mustaches? Yes. Right, ma'am. What do you say? Can she stay? Yes! Oh, good, thank this you. calls for a celebration. <laughs> we'll sing our new song. Fools, you don't know what you're letting yourselves in for. <laughs>
I've been swimming in a bowl of Sarah's soup. Oh, oh, there's Sarah's basket. I better take that back. Oh, thanks, kids. Madam. Sarah. Madam. Sarah. Madam. Sarah. Madam. Sarah. Madam. Oh, shut up. We sound like a pair of parrots with hiccups. <laughs> Here, who was that awful man? I don't know, but I didn't like him. He's up to something, that's for sure. <laughs> What happened? I don't know. It's that mirror man. He's got us under his control. But why did he bring us back to the palace again, then? Well, maybe he wants them rats to keep an eye on us. Hist! What? Hist! What am I hitting at? Footsteps. Quick, Sarah, there's somebody coming. Hide behind the mirror before we're spotted. Ah, huntsman. Is your task completed? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> you have done well. Now we shall see. Magic mirror on the wall. Who now is the fairest of them all? Beyond the seven jeweled hills, beneath the seventh waterfall, in the cottage of the dwarf she lives, the fairest one of all. Snow White lives, my queen, the fairest in the land. For it is the heart of a pig that you now hold in your hand. The heart of a pig? Seize the traitor! So, you thought you'd make a fool of me, did you? Have you forgotten the last time you disobeyed me? No, Your Majesty. Well, to repay you for your interference, you shall be part of her downfall. I think a slow, lingering death this time. Poison. But please, you can't harm the prince. One more word from you and I shall have your tongue. Yes, you treacherous swine. You might be right. I won't kill Snow White. Instead, I shall put her into a frozen sleep. Unable to hear, see or speak. Her stupid friends will think that she is dead and bury her alive. Bring my magic table and the terrain of transformation. Come, come, my friends. I like my little notion. With the help of the mirror, we must prepare a potion. First, a little apple bring. Insert in it a dead wasp's sting. In the wizened sorcerer's bow. Carefully place five lumps of coal. Sprinkle on some locust skin. Put on the casket, take the heart. And add a slice of poison tart. Crushed worm custard, pour on thick. Made from twisted clover and gin. Seasoned with a vial of youth. Guarded for a baby's liver. Badness, oh, how it makes me quiver. Pass the bowl from hand to hand. Makes the mixture boil and bubble. And for Snow White, spelling trouble. Green to blue and blue to red. One bite, and Snow White will be dead. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> 
But wait, is there an antidote? Only love's first kiss will awaken her. Ha! Love's first kiss. Love's first kiss. Who would kiss a corpse? Are you all right, Dogsman? Oh, I'm sorry, Muddles. She tried to kill me if I didn't help. So your fault, mate. But we must warn the dwarf straight away. <laughs> you are in my power complete. Your hands, your arms, your limbs, your feet. Depart from here. My plans move on a pace. To the dwarf's mind, go. There next you'll see my face. We will obey. We will obey. We will obey. Oh, my little friend, is not the taste of conquest sweet? Soon will this puppet queen fall at my feet. Hear me, queen, hear me and obey. Continue with your plans today. And when Snow White falls in her deadly sleep, then shall be it your turn to weep. Minions of the foulest death, come forth to me. Sharpen your claws, prepared for battle you must be. Beat the back runs, call the rat to fight. There is much blood for us to spill this night. <laughs> Wait now, foul queen. Your plans are without flaw. While they proceed, shall I prepare for war? The poison has matured. The apple is ready. But how do I get Snow White to eat it? I know. I shall disguise myself as a friendly old peddler woman. She will never suspect. Magic mirror on the wall. Your mighty powers again I call. Come black of night to shroud my clothes. Come raven's call to hook my nose. Come dragon's breath to wipe my hair. Put wrinkles on my skin so fair. Come wind. Just take care while we're away. Don't let anyone enter this house. Hmm. We don't want any harm to come to you. Don't worry about me. I'll take care. Bye-bye, Colonel. Bye-bye, Josie. Oh, Snipple. Snore. Bye-bye. Come on, Shy. Come on. Cheer. Oh. <laughs> Josie again. What are you doing? Go on, on your way. <laughs> now just remember what we said. Don't let anyone in. Growler, so you do care after all. Granny, may I come in and rest? 
I've been walking for miles and I haven't been able to sell anything. Well, I wasn't supposed to let anyone in, but I'm sure it'll be all right. You must be very tired. Here, sit down. Thank you, my dear. Do you live here alone? Oh, no, no. I live with the Seven Dwarves. They've all gone off to work in the mine today, though. Good. I mean, that's very kind of them. Yes, they've been very good to me. You see, my stepmother, the Queen, keeps trying to find me. I don't know why. She seems to want to harm me. Why would anyone want to harm such a, such a pretty little girl? Mmm. <laughs> What a delicious smell of cooking. Oh, yes, that's an apple pie I just made for the dwarves. You like apples, do you? Yes, very much. Here, try this one. Look, it's got a cheek as rosy as your own. Oh, I couldn't. Go on. I really shouldn't. Should I? <laughs> no, I won't. Thank you all the same. Taste it. One little bite won't harm you. Of course it won't. How silly of me. It does look delicious. It's an old granny's way of thanking you for much needed rest. We must find the door before that mirror man gets us again. Well, I just hope we're not too late. Oh, Muddle Sarah, where have you been? Your Highness, your lowness, your Imperial land. Oh, don't start all that again, sire. Snow White is in great danger. We overheard the Queen say that she was going to kill her, so we're off to warn the dwarf straight away. And it's not just the, it's not just the Queen that's dangerous, it's that mirror man. Tell him. Yes, the mirror man. And he made us jump up and down. Yeah. He has sparks coming out of his fingers. Yeah. My God. Bless you. No, Mydracon, that's the name of the man you met. We must move quickly, he's very powerful. Do you know him? Oh, of course you do, you're in the next dressing room, sorry. Yes. <laughs> he's an evil time master, he's yeah. trying to get control of all the kingdoms of Earth. If the Queen's already in his power, then we're all in danger. Oh. And the rats we keep meeting are his minions. Oh, don't mention them rats. They give me the collie Ooh. wobbles. Oh, my collie's never wobbled so much. Oh. Who knows? They could be watching us right now. Hey, gang, if you've seen any of those rats, you will tell us, won't you? Because I'm frightened of them. And my mum used to say, whenever you're frightened, always sing a little song, it'll cheer you up. That's a good idea. Shall we sing a yeah, song? Let's do that. I know, just the one. I hate you. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, I'm 
still flipping fly girl. Let's see. I hate it. Your bride and oh, there's only me and you left now, Sarah. The rat didn't take him, did it? Oh no! You're trying to scare us, aren't you? Oh. I'm hating you. Always left me all on my own and I'm frightened. If you see any rats, would you shout out twice as loud because I can't hear very well and I'm ever so frightened. I'm HJP. I'm HJP. I'm HJP.
for the forces of the night draws near. Now shall I summon all my enemies here. I want to be master of the universe. <laughs> now from the depths of time, my mystic mirror forces I call To turn this diamond mine into my magic mirror hall You have served me through. There is but one more task for you to do. Through fetid swamp and forest pools unclean. Bring me now my puppet queen. Oh, uninvited humans call. Each shall I crack in my time web ball. Who are you? Why have you brought me here? Do you realize who I am? Release me! Miserable queen, tremble with fear. Your destiny is painfully clear. How dare you? I am the queen. I am all powerful. Through my mirror, I control all things. Your mirror, who oh, you are, deceased. The mirror is mine, whatever you believe. The mirror is mine! Mine you may think, mine you may cry, but through my mirror now shall you die! Ah! The puppet queen is dead, destroyed by my mirror head. Last but not least, this miserable creature. I'll wipe the smile off his ugly features. His dying agony shall all here see when I reach the count of three. One. Two. You in a bit? Mysercon! At last I find you. Leave him alone, he's no threat to you. I free. <laughs> Come, mortal, do your worst. Your useless life is cursed. I have no fear of you, my dracon. See here! The sword of the time runs. Yes, my dracon. For you, the sword of destruction. You are no human, Prince, I see. But even your mighty sword cannot outmaster me. To the death, my dracon! Yes. Controlling us. 
Maybe I can help. Queen Antipoda, we thought you were dead. Blimey. I bet she drinks calling that label. <laughs> I was under Mydricon's powers as well. I don't remember very much about it. But I think you'll find Snow White at the dwarf's cottage. I hope I haven't harmed her. I must go and find her straight away. But before I do, I shall return you all to the palace with the help of my magic sword. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't mind, sire, I think I'll walk. <laughs> I've had enough of swords for one day. They don't like it up, Mr. Manring. They don't like it up, you know. Don't panic! Don't panic! Don't panic! The rest of you, close your eyes and I'll get the children to count down with me. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, zero! Walking back to the palace, I'm not going around the end of them swords. We never know what could happen, do you? Really, you could get yourself injured. That's what you could do. You could get yourself injured, and I'm not going to get injured. I'm walking because I find it's easier if you walk. Do you know, what I'm sorry, mate. Sorry, I can't talk to you at the moment. I'm not here. You see, as I was saying, it's easy. You're not here. Of course you're here. Hey? Of course you're here. You're in the flesh, aren't you? No, 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 no. I'm here, but I'm not here. You see, I am just a filament of your imagination. <laughs> and what's more, yeah. I can prove to you that I'm not here. Really? Honestly? Yeah, you fancy a little bet? Yeah, why not? Yeah? yeah. You got a fiver? Yeah, I uh, have, yeah. That's yeah. a fiver, look. Right, go on. Right, yeah. Now listen very closely. Right. I'm not in Manchester, am I? No, you're not in Manchester. And I'm not in Liverpool, am I? No, you're not in Liverpool. Well, if I'm not in Manchester and I'm not in Liverpool, I must be somewhere else. Well, yes. yes. Well, if I'm somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> I'm going by some oatcakes now. Ah, there you are, young man. Yes, now listen very carefully because I've got something uh, rather important. No, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you. I'm not here. What are you talking about? I can't here. You see, it's in your imagination. I'm actually not here. Ah, you're being silly now. Look, I can prove to you. Do you want to bet? A bet? Yeah. Money. Five pounds. A fact you're not here? Uh, yeah, that's right. Right, you right, are. Okay, then. Right, brilliant. Right. 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 I'm not in Manchester, am I? No, no, you're not in Manchester. And I'm not in Liverpool, am I? No, no, no. So if I'm not in Manchester and I'm not in Liverpool, no. I must be somewhere else. That's right. And if I'm somewhere else, I'm not here. <laughs> 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 The only problem is when you're walking, you can't find anywhere. Do you know this passage, this long one here? When I get to the bottom of this, do I turn left or do I turn right? Uh, uh, awful, awfully sorry, man. I really can't talk to you right now. Why not? I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> he must be from Longton, even. <laughs> this is definitely a neck ender. <laughs> what do you mean you're not here? As I said, I'm actually not here at the moment. Right? Yeah. And what's more, I can prove it too. You can prove it, can you? Oh, yes, it is. Wouldn't involve a little bet, would it? There's a good idea, Muddles. Thought it might. Give five pounds. Five pounds? Right. Sounds good to me. Listen uh, very carefully, Muddles. Yes? Muddles, I'm not in Manchester, am I? No, no, you're not in Manchester. And I'm not in Liverpool, am I? No, no, you're not in Liverpool. So, if I'm not in Manchester, and I'm not in Liverpool, I must be somewhere else. That's right. Well, if I'm somewhere else, I'm not here. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, before you go. What is it, Muddles? <laughs> I'll have the money. Yeah, it's my money. How can it be your money? You're not here. <laughs> yes! Snow White, then I'm too late. I can't leave without kissing her. Only love's first kiss will awaken her. Where am I? Oh, Prince Edgar, I just 
had the most awful dream. An old woman gave me an apple and I was trapped in a forest of mirrors I couldn't escape from. Don't worry, Snow White. You're quite safe now. All the terrors of my Dracon and the Mirror Master are no more. I should have known you'd find me. Now I never have to be frightened again. <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen quid. <laughs> Hello, kids. Hello, mothers. Snow White, thank goodness you're alive. How oh, wonderful. I'm so happy. Oh. Snow White, my dear, I'm so, so sorry. I promise you I shall make it up to you. Seeing you both together makes me know that you were made for one another. <laughs> Just... I think I liked her better when she was evil. Just knowing you're back to your normal self is the best present you could give me. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah, where are you going? I'm going to start knitting. There's going to be a wedding. I want to look my best. Uh, Sarah, wait for me. We shall retire to cell block H and watch Home and Away. Snow White, will you accept my hand in marriage? I accept with pleasure, my prince, for I am as honoured as I am happy. Models, <laughs> what's wrong? I'm filling up again, yes. I'm getting another big in edit. Because I knew it all along. I told you what was going to happen. He's taken one look at you. Now he's gone all sloppy. Look, he's got lipstick on his mouth and everything now, see? <laughs> and now you're going to get married and you're going to go and live in a castle. And I will never, 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 ever, 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 ever get to go with you to Trentham Gardens again. Oh, madness, of course. You will. You can come and live with us in East End Palace, can't he? Yes, young man. How can I ever thank you for being so kind to Snow White? Oh, that's all right, sire. Just name the first baby after me. <laughs> what, Muddles? No, use my real name. Buttons. <laughs> come, Snow White, let us away. There is a wedding to be attended this day. You know, man, I said it before and I'll say it again. I love it when a plan comes together. Great in Panto Land, eh? Everybody gets to live happily ever after. The prince gets to marry his lovely princess, and I get nobody. Nobody loves me. They don't. They don't. But I'll tell you what, you know, I've been looking down here, and I thought to myself, oh, I me, I thought this little girl here is going to come and be my helper. Oh, great stuff. Come on, I need a little boy now. Are you a little boy as well? Are you this lady, a girl system? Come on, please, come on, come on. Come on, give him a big round of applause. They can be by my help. Yeah, there we are. Now then, now then, let's go over to the centre and we'll find out a little bit about you, right? Okay. Come over here, my darling. That's it. Just stand there if you would. Wonderful. Now then, you don't mind if I talk to your sister first, do you? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Right. I don't belong. Have a good year. Right. What's your name, my darling? Susan. What? Susan. Susan. How old are you, Susan? Seven. Seven? Susan, seven. Are you married, Susan? No. Any offers? She's not married, guys. Hey, blimey. Hey, listen, do you know when Santa Claus came to your house a few weeks ago, did he bring you some nice prezzies? Yes. Yeah. What did he bring for you? A keyboard. A what? A keyboard. A keyboard? What, one of them? One of them, like that. Just like that. You're sacked. <laughs> New MD tomorrow, Steve. No him. Listen, if we sing a little song, will you help us, Susan? Yeah, I thought you might. I thought you might. Now, what's your name, young man? John. John. All right, John. Got a new motor. How old are you, John? Nine. Nine? You're nine, are you? Blimey. What did you get for Christmas? Chemistry set. A chemistry set? Has it not blown you up yet? No. You don't make bombs and stuff like that, do you? No. Stink bombs. <laughs> Go on, you've got to make some of them. They're great, honestly. Four oh, great. <laughs> do you like watching television? Yeah. What's your favourite television show? 
neighbours. How many were your neighbours? Oh, I love neighbours too, I oh, do. Yeah, hey, listen, do you think we could sing that through them? Yes. Yes, I think that'd be a good idea. Let's have a little go at that. Ladies first, you reckon, John? Yeah, all right. Neighbours. Everybody needs good neighbours. With a little, little understanding. You can find the perfect Well done indeed. <laughs> I bet you're really looking forward to this, aren't you? No. No, I didn't think it would be. Well, this is where you become a big star in Anley, you see. Are you ready? Neighbours. Neighbours. Everybody needs good neighbours. Neighbours. Little understanding. You've got the perfect Very good. That's when good neighbors become good friends. Well done. Give them a round of applause. Very good. Very good. That was John. Hiya, Muddles. Oh, the prince has arrived. I could hear singing. Has someone been singing? Yeah, we have a little sing song. We are. Hey, right. now you're here. We can have a little competition. That seems like a great idea. Yeah. Yes. This is Susan. Hello, Susie. Right. Please you come over here with me, John. We're going to tell you what we're going to do, mate. Right. You and me, and everybody on this side of the theatre, that's everybody downstairs and upstairs and in the ashtrays and everywhere else. <laughs> You're all going to be on John's team. Yeah! And everybody on this side of the theatre, you're all on my team and Susie's. Yeah! Right. We're going to be the best side, aren't we, team? Yeah! No, no, Muggles, no, no. We're going to be the best side, aren't we, kids? We shall see. <laughs> Are you all right, mate? Sing as loud as you can. Here we go. Neighbours. Everybody needs good neighbours. With a bit of understanding. Dear me. Find the perfect No, that was terrible. That was terrible. We're going to be a lot better than that. You ready? Oh, no, no. <laughs> well sorted. Yeah. Superb. Well, I tell you, you weren't bad, but this was the best side, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, you weren't. Oh, yes, we were. Oh, oh no, no, you, you were. were. Oh, yes, we were. He'll make a stink bomb if we don't win. <laughs> Come over here, mate. I tell you what, we'll call it a draw, don't you think they so? They were brilliant, weren't really, they? Really, they were. Smashing kids, really. Listen, I tell you what, they've been that good. We've got some presents for them. Presents I'll as get well. them now. Brilliant, it won't be a chemistry set, so you're quite safe, and it won't be a keyboard. So don't panic. Lewis's, all the way from Lewis's. Look at that, eh? All the goodies. That good. We've got you, one for you. There you go. Bits and pieces and their pens and rubbers and all sorts. Wonderful. Brilliant. Stuff, eh? Brilliant. Fantastic. Hey. Nothing well, kids, weren't it? Listen, I better go. I've got oh, a wedding to go to. Oh, the wedding, I forgot. Yes. See you there. I'll see you at the wedding. Okay then. Say bye bye to the prince, everybody. Bye. See you later. And I'll tell you what, you kids have been very brave coming up in here in front of all these lovely ladies and gentlemen. Susan, if you give them people a nice little curtsy like that, can you do that? Can you give them one of them like that, Susan? Can you do that like that? That's it. Can you give them a nice bow like that? They'll give you a great big round of applause. Listen, that's it. Wonderful. Thanks for coming up. Very nice too, I'll tell you. Very nice indeed. Thank you very much. You all sounded in rather good voice out there. Why don't we do it one more time and this time we'll really raise the roof. Here we go. With a little un You can find the 
perfect plan. should be there for one another. That's when good neighbors become good friends. Time is over. And here our story ends. <laughs> We've had some laughs in Anley stuff. <laughs> and most of all, made friends. Bye! Bye. Bye.